the forge has gone quiet, the bellows blow no more. The forge has gone quiet, the smiths have gone home. Only fading embers remain, and my hearth grows cold. One kiss from you to rekindle it all. Back for episode thirty-eight, Queen of Embers. And the sun is setting quick behind the mountains. You can feel the autumn wind kind of pulling at your clothes. Y'all are restored, by the way, to unhindered. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask Sammy. Here, hold on. You hear. Howls out in the hills. First, it's the barking of dogs, then it's howling. As without a doubt, the dog soldiers must be out there. The sun is setting quick. The sky is turning from orange to pink, and to the to the east, the uh, sky has already turned dark. To the west, the sun is just about to dip behind the tallest peak that you can see of the stud wall. There's kind of a look among all of you as you are kind of collected together, Harung. Wolfgang, uh, the barrister, Jonathan and Cecilia Vander, Sammy Newhouse, and a lot of you. As you'll kind of pause for a moment. Persecution complex. Am I actually on Hender? Uh, no, you're not. But you're not. In, oh, you're in a rural area. Is this considered rural enough? Yes. Yes. It's making sure. <laughs> They're watching me. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'll look at Sammy then and go, is the ship right for shooting? I'm a millennial. I don't would that be uh, I a think cause for we, concern? Well, I th- think if we did that, we... Or they, they sound like they're all around us, he says. Well, we'll probably be a focal point, yeah. We scared them off last night. Makes sense they come here first. They all came down from the hills, Harong said. When you took the shot... They were in mid of that hill, but I'm not hearing the sounds from there. It's from all around us, Harung says. She's trying to calm the oxen. They're getting nervous. Everyone's getting nervous. Barrister, Barrister, please, um, let's get you on the ship. Yes, of course, she says. Thank you. She'll begin to ascend the rope ladder. Shall I pull it up? I can use my bow up there. Yeah, you the last line of defense. Sammy, can you, uh, shoot? Shoot what? Anything. Uh, you give me a bow and I can, I can plug an arrow at about a few yards out. Oh, I ain't very good shot, though. Well, then, then I, don't, I don't know what to do. I have a Our understanding is that you, uh, are oh. people of action, or, or, sorry, Wolfgang says. Well, then shut up and get up, too. <laughs> I'm gonna go up with the barrister. <clears throat> I'll go up as well. Listen, who has arms, and who's and and who knows how to use them? Jazz hands. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, at least it would string or bow stringing up. That's right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'll point to the other side. I'll stay on this side. Pull up both ladders. Uh, boss, we're pulling the ladders up. Yeah. Who? What do you expect so? We stand down here, Sammy says. Well, then if you knock it up, quick. Who's staying on the ground and who's ascending? Up top. Everyone's staying on the ground. Warren's you want me on the ground, ground or you want me on that gun? You think that ship's going to hold? Didn't, didn't Sammy say that it wasn't? All right, well, then I'm down here then, right? Well, I don't blaze it out now. I had only have a day to repair it. Well, the powder's still in there. The powder's so. st- it's still there. Just need torch. Right, so you just gotta pull the trigger. Shouldn't they float on you? <laughs> Not up, pull the trigger. You put the flame near the fuse. That too, yeah. Shouldn't explode on you. Keyword shouldn't. Oh, oh, there's dogs eye here, Cecilia Vander says. Y- yes, yeah, so those d- d- dogs, Jen- Jonathan Vander says, his teeth chattering. Jonathan, you can. <coughs> 
Try and stay out of the way down here. Well, dogs and pigs. I think we'll go up top. Well, we've already oh, you the think up. he will? Well, what are we going to do down here? Get killed? He says. She's a fencer. I... It was a fencer in school, she says. It's about more than a lot of other people can say. Time to earn your keep. Best hope you remember your lessons. What do I fight with? An invisible sword? She pleads. Her husband takes, stands behind her. Give me a blade. If you'll send me to my death, give me a sword. You have got a sword for her. I ain't, I ain't a user of swords. Best I've got is a cane. I've got a spear. She looks at you, bewildered. What am I supposed to do with that? Stick him with the pointy end. She'll take it. <laughs> I'll whisper to uh, Terwin. Like, you know, they're just basically gonna be cannon fodder, right? I don't, I don't expect actually them to do much of anything besides die. You think they'd be do the, they'd be okay up there? Well, I mean, the man he even got a weapon, so. I am putting down the ladders. I'm just saying, you can send them running. Listen, you try and stay away from them, as I'm looking at both of you. You try and stay away from them. If you even need to run to the town, you can do that. Okay. That right there is for your protection, as best it can be. She holds the spear. Then back to Hastings, we, sh we shall be hasty at that. They begin to run off. <coughs> A stone ricochets off the side of the hull of the ship as they kind of stop dead in their tracks. Can I see anything out there? I'm mounting up on uh, two more. Kind of plank, plank off the side of the off the side of the hull. Who's up top? All right. So up top, on top of the Madeline, the sun is not yet set, but you can see movement in the grass out there, and you can see movement from all around. Like you see pockets of people out in the high grasses kind of slowly loping along with their animals at their side. <clears throat> Hunting dogs, you would suspect. You see someone pop up and then drop back down to the grass as they... <laughs> they sling a stone, just kind of ricocheting it off of the side of the, the ship. And... <laughs> You used to hear a howl come from one side. Roll, aware, roll an awareness test. This test will be uh, challenging. 41. 78 will not do it. Mm. I'm gonna attempt again. Okay, so, so uh, what do you, what do you want to attempt again? I'm gonna use a fortune point. Okay, be sure to let me know when you guys That's use fortune right. points. Uh, fortune it gives me a fortune point. So you both used a fortune point? Yep. So I have two misfortune now. A 19. 35 does it also. Okay. She did you did you succeed? Yes. Okay. You both look out there and you can see a group of two people kind of pop up some number of yards from one another. They're just kind of slinging stones wildly toward the ship. Ricocheting off. Not anywhere near anyone. They're clearly trying to rattle you, but you can see, you look down below, you see Jonathan and Cecilia Vander stop dead on their tracks. They're just trying to rattle us. I'm going to knock an arrow and I'm going to kill one of the dogs. Um, okay. I'm going to rattle them back. When he says that, I'm just going to draw my weapons. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm on the mountain. I'm <laughs> shooting the spear. That's right. Lance and you hand. grab an arrow. And <laughs> you loose the arrow. So first off, before you roll, before you roll, just a little quick. <laughs> what kind of bow do you have? I have a hunting bow. Okay, they are. Uh, nine yards out from where you're at. Okay, that's short distance. Okay. Take any one of the dogs. Yep. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> you loose the arrow. I didn't give you the chances. What are you doing? It's it's a routine, by the way. You're on higher ground. 
Yeah. Okay. So I hit on the routine. Uh-huh. Yep. I hit on the nose. Okay. Roll a d6 chaos die or fury die. Yeah. Uh, so. Five and four. And do I get? Oh yeah, so nine points. Okay. Yeah! The dog gonna whelps, yelps as it's struck by an arrow and falls dead. The next it's one of you throws a rock, gets an arrow in his face. I Move on. I translate for him. Okay. And the folk. Okay. Came bola ash. Came bola ash. He's screaming up above. Elisa, what are you gonna do? Uh, she would train her bow on probably what looks like one of the easier targets in the grass. And man, man, or person, or dog? Dog. Dog, okay. What do you want to do? She's going to wait since he yelled that threat so wait, and see what okay. happens. Harper? Uh, am I on the side that they're throwing rocks on? Or am well, I on you're not really sure where the rocks were coming from, so if you can imagine that the ship is, one, it's in the shadow of the mountains at this point. There's not very much light. And so you're, so remember, you're surrounded by hills, tall hills. Right. And they kind of surround all around here. You don't really have a good view or visibility of what's going on. You're kind of, for, you're trying the front of the prow of the ship on, on the ground in front of the where the oxen are all at. And you can hear them snorting and panting and whatever else. You need to make an awareness test for one IP to determine where they're at. Yep. This test will be, uh, from where you're at, will be challenging. Challenging awareness will be a 33. And a 62 does not succeed. Okay. So you look frantically about in the hills, and you realize they're all around you. You just can't determine precisely where they're at. But you can hear this, the dogs howling out in the, out in the hills. Mm-hmm. That's, that's one AP. Uh, what I'll do... Is uh, Lisa, would you put uh, dog warrior, dog soldiers at the bottom of below tear one at an eight? Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like pat the side of my horse and try to make sure that it's calm, <coughs> you know, because it's not my normal Matthew, so that's right, you know. So I'm gonna make sure that it's under control and mm-hmm. that way it's, it's ready whenever I'm ready because. Like, I had planned on, yeah, I bought that sack of apples to try to help train it. So, yeah. trying to basically make sure that Keep it gets it ready. Mm-hmm. And then I'll hold my last AP. Okay. So, now we have. Uh, More. Who is. Banneker. Oh, Banneker. Oh, it's me again. Banneker, what will you do? Boss? Getting bit. <laughs> Sadie? Oh, she's eating her food. It's on your toe. <laughs> um, sorry, what was you? You're taking too long, boss. Real load. Yep, load, aim, fire. Got okay. kill the next dog. Okay. It's a routine routine test. Okay, so I have a sixty-five percent chance. Say that last time. I rolled a forty-five again. Okay. Roll damage. Roll these six fury die. A D six. Just one. One D six. Oh, that you said. Oh, because of uh. Okay. All right. Uh. Oh, and that rolls again. So eleven plus four, fifteen. Another dog is shot with an arrow. There's a fucking child! You hear called out. It's my fucking dog! A woman says out there. As I said, move on, or I will shoot the cannon. It's getting tense. Uh, Warren, what do you do? I will draw my hunting bow and shoot a dog. You draw your hunting bow. You're on the ground, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You make a word that says to find them. Okay. You draw your bow for one AP. Okay. You load it for one AP. Mm-hmm. And then you search for one AP. 
Alright. Roll a challenging roll. awareness test. Challenging awareness will be 39% serious chance to succeed. And I rolled a 34 success. Hand me main gosh, please. Give me a mark for him. Uh, you succeeded? Yeah. Okay. You have a good eye for where they're at. Hit me, Mangosh, oh, please. That's right. uh, I was like, I don't Mangosh. know. Mangosh. if you will. Mangosh. Mangosh. You have a good feel for where they're at at this point, Warren. Terwin? Terwin is going to. Uh, uh, call out to his companions and say, "We've we've faced worse than this. We can face this today. Hold your ground. Keep your eyes out. We'll get through this tonight." That's uh, going to try and use inspiring words. Only those who can see and hear him will get the advantage of this. Those, the, so those on the ground. Yep. So your test is based off your damage condition track. Where are you at? Okay. Um, I am unharmed. Okay, so it's going to be routine. Okay. Uh, routine will make it 58. 56 will do it. Okay. So those on the ground get plus one damage condition track, plus one barrel track. Plus one, plus one. Since he stated that, I'm going to go ahead and take my turn. Okay, so go ahead and put your cell, move Elisa down between Terran and the dog warriors. Yeah. 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 Oh, I got oh, two action points left. The camera. I keep walking. Oh, it's right. So you need to go. Sorry. No, that's so, fine. I yeah, you'll go after him. Yeah, just put put her after. So put Elisa after Terwin. But Terwin, go ahead and finish your action. Sorry. Yeah. So then uh, Terwin's going to yell at folk. Um, you know what we have? We're not looking for bloodshed, but we will make it if we have to. Get out of here with your lives if you value them. Sorry. As I'm trying to use the hatred. Okay. Go ahead and roll a, your test. It's routine. Okay. This will be a 61. And a 40 will succeed. Okay. Nice. You hear someone to call out there. How about you shove it up your ass, you Aridane prick? <laughs> Called back in Dunnish. <laughs> And then uh, I'll uh, go ahead and bank the uh, last AP. Boss, should I uh, release Elisa. Hell? <laughs> Elisa's turn? Yep, I am going to go ahead and take aim and fire at one of them. Okay. So I got a with what? Uh, with my hunting bow. Okay, so you take aim as one, load as one, yep. fire as one. Yep. So that puts me at a 52, 62. Okay. It's a well, it's a routine so. test. Just keep in mind you're at zero IP now. Once you that's fine. Take we'll load, take aim, and fire. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Make a shot. Are you take aim at a person or an animal? Dog. Okay. So 62, 72, 13, 84 won't do it. Mm. Yeah, I put a lot into this. I'm going to use a fortune point. Okay. <laughs> Miss Fortune coming your way. 63 will do it. Okay. Right? Roll no, 62. I'm one over. Oh, the arrow fires out in the field. Be sure to mark off your ammunition, guys. Yeah. I've been marking it. Mm -hmm. The arrow flies out then there when you hear, Futa Ketai! Called out. You hear the light the fire. You hear a Dunnish, uh, Terwin. You're trying to bend us out. You see a blaze come up on the horizon. Specifically, the blaze comes toward uh, the west, not to the east. And then you hear this sound of Rocks kind of pitter-pattering in a pattern from all sides, bouncing off back and forth as you're ducking and moving around, as they're literally just littering the side of this, the side of this entire ship, the Madeline, with stones and rocks, and you hear this raucous laughter coming from somewhere out there. And from your vantage point on top of the ship, Elite, uh, sorry, Harper, uh, would you mark Elisa off so I, she's 
off it. Well, Lisa moved, so we need to move right. her down. Harper's not so at the top. Harp, so Harper, you're ducking at this point, and you're kind of hearing all this sound all around you. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looking all around. What do you want to do? Uh, so I haven't still spotted any of them? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I will attempt to uh, keep an eye out. I mean, because these guys have been shooting arrows at them, so I'll try to look in the general areas of where those arrows have been going. You have no idea where they're at. Keep in mind you're 20 foot below where somebody's standing on top of something. You can't see them. So Nor can you see where their arrow is. I'm at the front of the boat, right? With the oxen. Yes, but you're too close to the boat. Okay. You're too close to the, you're too close to the ship. Okay. Yeah, you're way too close. You don't have, you don't have good sight on anything. Alright, yeah. then I will move... Uh, you hustle out? What? Like I do a hustle out of the shadow. Yeah, let's see here. I want to move. Yeah. Use a movement action. So I will hustle 14 away. Yeah, keep in mind the oxen are taller than you, and the ship is you five know, times. I'm on a horse. horse. Oh, you're on horseback. That's good. So yeah, you can see over the oxen. Okay. Yeah, so I'm on a horse, so I'm moving 14 okay. away with one hustle. <laughs> you draw the horse to a close, you get a. Your test now is standard. Yep. Yeah. Awareness test it is. Standard awareness test will be. 43. That's an 04 success. Okay. You can see they're kind of all spread throughout the hills, and your eyes are immediately turned toward this blazing fire on the western horizon where the sun is setting. And the sun is not quite yet below the, the tallest peak of the stead wall, but it's blinding looking that way. And you can see that's where the fire is at. But as you kind of narrow your eyes against the, the light of the sun and kind mm-hmm. of peek between your fingers, you can see they've set a farmstead on a flame. Okay, they set a farm on flame? They set like a farmhouse on flame. Huh. On flame, yes. Interesting. So previously they had not set anything on fire. No. Now they set something on fire. Okay. I'll shout out, A farm is on fire! We need to stop them. Well, all right. Is uh, so I still haven't located any of them. I just need to oh, you can see a collection of around. You can see a collection of around that farmhouse. Okay. Yes. Well, they're about. I'd say about 18 yards away. Okay. Um. So what I'll do is uh, I'll actually hold where I am. Then, uh, and I'll wait for. Uh, Terwin to uh, catch up, basically, if he's going to come with me. Because mm-hmm. I don't want to go charging him at myself, because <laughs> that's dumb. I have enough warfare to know that that's dumb. <laughs> so I will hold the rest of my AP. Okay. So I moved, I looked, and I hold my last AP. Mm-hmm. All right, now we get to um, Banneker. Boss to stop him, mean him, kill him. Yeah, stop shooting the dogs. Shoot the ones that can that can fire stones and throw stones and set things to fire. All right. You, as you look out in the fields, you realize they're kind of hunkered below uh, broken tree stumps and low-lying stone fences and boulders and such as they've been taking cover out there. You know, aim at one of the people. Point them out for one too. They're about uh, ten yards, uh, about ten yards out. They're all over there, just sixteen. Un- oh, sixteen? Yeah. Okay. That was your last shot, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was ten yards. Sorry, you're you ten said yards. ten. That's right. Yeah, but that's right. Ten uh, yards. Sixteen's fine. That's still short. I don't care whatever you tell. Ten yards. Ten yards. They're about ten yards out. They're just ducking under things, but the next one that pops up is getting an arrow in his eye. So. Oh, I'll pick shot. Yep. It's a challenging test. As you Load, aim. You loose an arrow with the nearest one about 10 yards out. So 65 with the. Uh, because I'm still up, right? Mm-hmm. It would have been 75 right. all ago, sorry. I messed that up. Ah. Oh, I would have hit. <laughs> Taking one, Dan. So you can get one. Okay. And uh, 46. Does it? Okay. Roll damage. Seven. Seven. Ooh. The arrow. You lob the arrow out there, and it 
you hear a crack as it hits the stone. Hits a hits a stone rock as it protects the uh, the dog soldier mm-hmm. out in the uh, out in the fields. <clears throat> Boss, you want me to get make ready on one of these things? Stop it! What do you say? Should I make ready the cannon? May as well. All right, I'm gonna move up there. All right, you will hustle over to the cannon. I don't know how far it is his way, so. Yeah, we'll assume okay. we'll assume it's probably across the deck. That's probably about like I don't know, six yards at oh, best. Okay. So you hop off the forecastle and Done. hustle across the uh, across the deck, and you're you're not there yet, are you? No. Are you okay? No. Okay. That have to happen next round because I aim, fire, or. Yeah, pull, uh, load, aim, shoot. That's right. Okay. So, Warren, it's your turn. I will shoot at one of the people within range. Did you succeed your skill test to identify where they're at earlier? Yes. Okay. All right, you see them hungered behind the trees, and they're just taking shots at this point at the ship. You load an arrow and take a shot at them. Okay. Difficulty? Uh, uh, at your vantage point, it's hard. Okay. Hard will be 38% chance to succeed. You loose an arrow. That is not a success. Okay. okay. Actually, no, wait, that is a 30. No, that's an 85. Never mind. All right, so yeah, I missed. Arrow falls a little short, <laughs> softly into the grass. You realize that down here you have no light at all. None. Okay. All right, um. I guess I will reload and bank the last DB. Okay. Alrighty. That brings us to Terlin. Did, did you say how far away that farmstead was again? Uh, yes, it's 28 yards out from where you're at. It's okay, I'm going to take off in a run and move 18. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'll yell back, uh, see if you can get one on the way. To um, Harper. So remember, whenever you are running, mm-hmm. uh, you get plus three damage threshold until your next turn. Yep. Okay. Thank you. He begins storming up the hill toward the burning building. Elisa, what will you do? Uh, load, take aim, fire. Okay. At one of the people or people. one of the dogs? Okay. It's going to be a challenging test. Okay, so 42, 10, so 52, height. Right, so 62? No. There's no... Challenging test. Okay. It's already factored in. Okay, so 52. Challenging, 40. Yeah. All right. You don't factor in any sort of environmental effects. I do for your final difficulty, just to clarify. Okay. Uh, eight. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so the challenge is you have no light, uh-huh. and they are, they are taking cover. All right, odd eight. You have so. light, but they're taking cover. Okay. You strike. Roll damage. Uh, six on the die. What is the damage on a hunting though? You use your uh, <coughs> agility. It's agility. Yes. And uh, six is six foot. Uh, so nine. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Yikes. Uh, the arrow manages to slip between a splayed branch, and you see it stick into one of the dogs. Because so <laughs> they are lightly wounded. Or were they not behind those trees? It may have been a far deadlier wound. The dog soldiers. Zimpakache! You hear called out once again, and then suddenly, on the eastern horizon, a farmhouse is now set aflame as well. As you see another group collected, beyond the ones that you just fired at. At this point, you have a pretty good idea of how many are out there. There's at least 12 of these dog soldiers. There are the ones who are kind of within the nearby fields, about 10 yards away, that are standing amid the, the brush and stone, rocks, low-lying rocks, and uh, stumps of trees. There are four positioned near the westernmost farmhouse, which is where Terwin is storming forward toward now. And the easternmost farmhouse has just been set on fire. You see four more. It's their turn. Elisa, 
it's a little yell out. I count twelve. All right. Well, Elisa yells out the numbers as you hear stones patter off the side of off the uh, the ship. You're kind of ducking and trying to get out of the way. You hear once again called out in Dunish. Some woman screams out, Come fight us out in the field, you cowards! Harper, it's your turn. Alright, so you said they were 16 yards away from me? Uh huh. Okay. So, question about talents. Uh, so, yes. I have Spirited Charge. Uh huh. So, Spirited Charge, when you use Ride Skill, you get plus three movement. Uh huh. So. Would, if I just hustle on the horse, do I get plus three movement to that? You use your horse's movement. Okay. So it's... Um, it's normally it, the, for a palfrey, it's normally plus six. So yeah, so it's plus, plus nine, nine instead. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's agility bonus plus nine. Or sorry, rides agility, so it's a agility bonus plus nine. Right, so it'd be nine plus my movement. No. Or no, instead of my... It's your, you, your movement, you don't use well. your movement, you use your horse's movement. Okay. It's your agility bonus plus nine for a palfrey. So my agility bonus, okay, which is five, so fourteen. That's right. So fourteen would be your okay. hustle. Okay, Basically, your place, your movement. I just want to make sure I was doing yep. that right. So okay. if we're talking about animal, animal, quote, animal companions, when you mount, yep. anytime you mount a horse or riding a vehicle, mm -hmm. you take up on the attributes of the movement value of that thing. So in the case, oh, a palfrey is an example, has a movement of A B plus six. Mm -hmm. Your agility bonus is what again? Five. Five. But you've got spirited. Charge, yeah. you add three on top of that, so it's nine plus AB. Yeah, I just want to make sure. I was so like, 14. 15. I'm like, is that right? right. Double check that. Okay, 14. Yep. All right, so it would be outside of my normal movement, so I would have to charge in. And you're, can I tell about how far away? He, you ran for what? How many yards? I uh, 18. 18. 18, yeah. So he's slightly ahead of me. Yeah, he just passed you on foot. Yeah. He's rushing up the hill. Um... Yeah, again, not wanting really to... Because there's a, a group of them, right? There's not just like one or two, right? Yeah, there's a collection of four near the burning flip, uh, near the burning farmstead where Tara was running to on the western uh, side toward the mountains. To the eastern side where there is no light, there's just nighttime sky. There's a, a burning farmhouse with four collected around that. In between the eastern burning farmhouse and you are four people peppered throughout the fields. Mm-hmm. Two of their well, dogs, or three of their dogs, lying dead in the field already. Yeah, They've been shot with arrows. Uh, so yeah, what I'll do then is I will. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I would do it with a lance, like drop my lance without dropping my lance. Like I don't I guess I wouldn't have any sort of holder or anything like that for it. You have a demi lance. I have a I have a military lance. Military lance. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a uh, hook. Okay. So to speak. So I would hook use. that, mm -hmm. pull, uh, draw out the uh, my triple barrel gun from mm -hmm. my holster <laughs> that I have. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that would be two AP then. Yes. Because I'm putting one away, pulling one out. That's right. That's right. Uh, and then I will. Uh, just sorry, just one AP to swap. Not one AP. Two. Okay. Yeah. So one AP to swap. Um, and then so then I will take aim. Okay. It, they would be at medium distance for me. Um, so I'm, and then I'll, so I'll take aim and I'll fire. Oh, the light is so blinding. It's a hard test. Yeah. It's a good thing you aimed. Hard test. Do you have Saddleborn? I do. So you get plus 10 to that. Yeah, I get the 10 from that, 10 from the aiming, and then hard. So, so just challenging, yeah. really. Yeah. Well, it'd be standard for that. Anyway, it's a 63% chance. And I rolled a 10. Nice! Yeah. Boom! He pulls the trigger. Roll damage. Now, these ones are just near the farmhouse, so they're not taking cover. All right. They don't have the protection of uh, any sort of... Stumps and rocks. Stumps and rocks, that's right. Uh, 12. 12. Did you roll a 1? No, I rolled a 2. Oh, I was going to say, I remember guns explode on Because I took six. aims, because I have gruesome shot. Which that's 12? Three. And I have a 10. I have, I have a 7 combat bonus, plus 3 from taking yep. aim. Yeah, and then two, so twelve. Okay. Uh, well, it Boom. it lightly grazes one near the farmhouse. Unfortunately, as you were kind of looking into the sun, as he's lightly wounded, <laughs> your blast of smoke. It's a magician! You hear called out uh, among the uh, 
the 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 uh, the dog warriors. It's wizard. Yeah, I'll say that <laughs> in pictures. It's trans- a wizard. It, it translates to magician, but means yeah. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wizard now. Okay. I think we kind of need like battle music. I think wizard. Right. Well, wizard. Wizard. Which is a wizard. It's a wizard. wizard. Wiser. All right. So that brings us to wizard. Banneker. Banneker, what are you going to do? He said to fire this thing. I mean, I got my own pistol. I can be fired at these fools. If they, if they're scared of those. Um, he said to fire it. Okay. So you move over to oh the Ribblequin, and you pick up a burning torch, and you're on the the you're on the forecast. You're in the very front of the ship, and you can you take using your warcraft. You ching 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 ching. Well, that's what you use the fire with. You're using so. it anyway. Clink 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 clink. You're trying to get it aimed by turning this pivoting wheel so it goes. Ching 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 the twelve, they're all huddled behind the rock. There's not twelve huddled behind the rock. There's twelve. So there's there's four twelve. Building four so, building four. so uh, hold on, time out. Okay, sorry, sorry. To, that's okay. To clarify, your from your perspective, what you can see, surrounding you in the field, there's about four spread throughout on either side of the road, where you kind of settled in between these two low hills. To the west, where the sun is, and it's almost blinding. There's a burning. I'm not going that so there's way. A, there's I'm a burning going. farmhouse into Obviously, the... Obviously, I'm not going to yeah. fire into the sun. Into the east... <laughs> yeah. To the east, there's also a burning firehouse. There's a burning a burning farmhouse where you can see a collection of four there. They're the ones that are most... Those, so those are most tightly bunched together. And that's where I'm shooting. So the western... The eastern farmhouse is where you're going to fire Yeah, them. I'm going to use the sun to my advantage into their eyes. Okay, so you're going to take aim at the... At, the, at them near the farmhouse in the east, just to clarify. Yeah, about 18, you said okay. about 18 yards out. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. All right. Oh. Oh, boy. You Goodbye, farmhouse. take the torch and <laughs> put it toward the fuse. Well, no, no, no. I mean, can I aim? Can I use the aim? Uh, absolutely. To help myself here? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Already and happened. I am up, right? I'm, I'm right. using, and, and I have Saddleborn, and I've not been adding Saddleborn anything. Saddleborn doesn't have anything to this. Yeah, I'm on top of the vehicle. Uh, so this is a warfare test and a simple melee or martial range test. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's a range test. Uh, so quick clarification. Okay. Let's read about Saddleborn. To strike. No. So, let's yeah. clarify. We'll clarify. No, no, no. Real quick. I'm just, I was just, I mean, so, I'm only putting... Yeah, so Saddleborn down. is to strike with melee and ranged weapons. This is this is a war machine. War machines are not melee or ranged weapons. Okay. They use warfare to hit. So your test is a challenging warfare test. But you don't have it as flip to fail. Warfare test. Okay, so. <laughs> Stop. And it's flip to fail. I mean, What's your chance? Aim, right? I am taking it. What's your chance to succeed? Can I double that? What do you mean, double that? What's that mean? How do you? I can't use aim twice. You can use aim twice. Yeah. I'm gonna use two AP aim. (laughs) Okay. What are your chances for success? Uh, 68. Not bad. That's not bad. Your intelligence. And that is an 05 and a 50. I hit. (laughs) All right. Boom! (laughs) An explosion. (laughs) Boom! Okay, so. <laughs> Suddenly, you see the in- you hear this boom sound. Yeah, dice. Uh, yeah, nice! Oh, sorry. That's okay. Uh, so damage uh, for a rebel queen. It's very. It's uh, uh, it's uh, sixty-six plus perception bonus. 66 plus perception bonus? That's right. Six. Seven. And it's gunpowder, so it explodes into one and a six. 
six d6? Oh, that's six d6. That's exactly what I rolled. That's funny. Oh, that's an explosion. You got a one there? Any ones? No. Thirty... Thirty-four. Okay. Well, here's what happens. As you take your shot, you see splint... Yeah. Uh, you see splinters of wood. <sighs> All you hear is you hear this ba-boom sound as... Splinters of wood and the whole farmhouse just goes up in an explosion as dirt and grass <laughs> everywhere is the, is the blast radius. Roll 2d6 chaos die. As you fire the second. Two fives. Okay. Oh, the shit. Second one? It's the second time. It's the second time it's been shot. <laughs> oh, the whole. The whole. The Madeline. The Madeline hey, groans, and you hear this, you hear this stressing of wood and this crack, pop, splintering, almost spider webbing across the entire aft or star, starboard side of the ship as it drops to the ground on the wheels, breaks off, and the axle snaps, and the oxen go all around in the field. Oh, God. Uh, roll 2d6. Chaos dies. <laughs> How many oxen spread to the field as you fire the, the rebel gun? Lots. Ten. Oh, oh god! Ooh. Do you know how to roll low? I don't think you do. Did you roll? Did you roll any sixes? Uh-huh. One to six. Okay. Suddenly the animals go out of control. Warren, you're there. So is the woman. And you're suddenly faced with. Well, there's Jonathan Vander, there's Cecilia Vander, there's, um... Harung Bigley. Harung Bigley. Sammy Newhouse. Sammy's up top. That's right, Sammy's up top yeah. with you and yeah. the barrister. Well, and suddenly there is no, a... No, King's up top too. Remember, I told them both to get up. There's a stampede... We can't help down here. ...of oxen spreading um, all over. Um, <laughs> so... You have a choice. You can either more of a nuisance. Leap out of the way. Try to get out of the way. Try not to get ran over. Or you can try to calm the oxen. Can I direct the oxen to stampede everyone in the field? Hmm? Can I direct the oxen to stampede everyone in the field? You yeah, can I'm absolutely try. Oh, yeah, over. I'm gonna try. Okay. <laughs> now there's an explosion, so that's probably caused a little bit of uh Distress to the creatures. All right. So, it's going to be a it's because you're trying to direct them to stampede to the field. It's going to be a hard test. Hard test. Okay. Hard test. Hard test was going to be twenty six percent chance to succeed. This isn't something I can take my time with, with is it? Uh, you can spend three AP to do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so that will give me uh, how much bonus? 10. 10. 10. So that'll turn to 36. Uh, a third. It's a Hail, Hail Mary, but I think it's a good good thing to try. Hail Mary, full of chaos. And I rolled a 53. But I'm going to go ahead and re roll it. Uh, no. I love to re roll mm. stuff like this. One oh, misfortune point. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> the whole stampede of 11 oxen begin storming through the field where they're all kind of nestled between the rocks <laughs> and the uh, stumps as they're storming out there. Roll 2d10 and add your fellowship bonus. 2d10. 2d10, 2D10 and 10. add your fellowship bonus. Okay. Right. So many dice. That's 12 plus fellowship bonus of 4. 16. 16. Okay. Well, fortunately, because they took cover, 
They manage to have enough time to kind of leap out of the way, jump out of the way, and some of them, as most of them, are lightly wounded, save for one who had been shot earlier by an arrow. He gets, you can see him get his leg trampled as he's moderately, moderately wounded. Roll 1d6 cast die. Okay. Uh, only one. There's a six. <laughs> well, here's the thing about being stampeded. When you suffer an injury, it's always a grievous injury. Ah! Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we do now That's awesome. is That's roll awesome. up. Now, I'm going to have you roll something real quick. Wait, it wait, did roll. happen to me. Oh, that's true. It did happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sucks. These Brandon. things have happened before. Oh, my God. <laughs> that man had a family. That man had a family. He had a family. He had a family. He had a family because he's dead now. And he had okay. a dog we shot it. Go ahead and roll percentiles. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's an 89. I'm pretty sure they're going to An 89? Oh, that's going to be bad. <laughs> oh, that's no. Not be that's high up. <laughs> you see you see that as it, as it happens, um, the man gets trampled with his legs. He hears, ah, oh, and you see his head stomped into the earth. Ooh. And as he kind of stands up, he's holding his eye, where his, his hand's over his eye. You only see the shadow at this point, but you can tell he's like, ah, and you can imagine, you can imagine if you had the right advantage, that you'd probably see that he has a hook-shaped yeah, puncture through his eyes. He suffers a vitreous hemorrhage, oh, nice. which means he's blinded. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, they threw rocks at us. Hey, hey Taron, I think you're. They threw rocks at us. That's brutal. <laughs> they have like so there's two gone. houses on fire. Yeah, but not the guys in the field. The guys in the field just did rocks. <laughs> what, what, what they call mox foot? They called for the fire. That's true. So, Conscience Warren, just turn it over. Terran will um, charge forth at one of the four. Okay. Um, and then he will... Uh, Who you attack with? I'm going to attack with my sword. Mm. You charge right into a thicket of spears. They take an opportunity to attack. Chance to strike. 75. 30! You have 1 AP? No. Huh? You charge, so you have 1 AP left. Take you want to parry? Uh, I can't carry an opportunity attack. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Yeah. You're right. Sorry. I would love to, but... You're right. Yes. I think they'll spend a misfortune point to add the punishing quality. Nice. Uh, so that is nine plus six, so fifteen damage. Ah! Okay, I'm uh, lightly wounded. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what are you attacking with? I'm attacking with my sword. The the flames are burning red hot, and you can see him kind of ah! as he swings his weapon down. You can feel the fire. Yeah, brush you. Will you let the Fire stoke your anger. Oh yes, uh, brushing aside uh, um, the spear of the, of the man who caught. Me, okay. Um, I will uh, come down towards his uh, clavicle to uh, try and make sure that he can't use a two-handed weapon. Should do you wish to stoke the flames, Forrester? Will it ignite the fire in your heart? Oh yes, being so close to the fire, like okay. it is, uh, like he's going full on mayhem. Okay. Like, yeah, he's he's not himself. Okay, <laughs> roll the strike. This test will be routine. Be routine? Should okay. you hit, you may add initial fury die. Okay, this will be a 17. And an 84 won't do it, but for the sense of mayhem, he will as, swing uh, again. as uh, we are channeling uh, chaos uh, oh, uh, rank, I shall use a uh, fortune point. Okay. Alright. Is that appropriate for the uh, 25 reward points? Yeah, absolutely. Alright. 25 reward points. <laughs> um, yeah, 70. And 86 just won't do it. Ah, you you are so incensed by the flames and blinded by the heat in your own fury mm -hmm. that they kind of take a step back as this happens as Terran storms forward. Lisa, it is your turn. I will. A valiant effort, but an effort you may attempt again. 
Unless the dogs be set upon you. Can I see the um, the guys running between the oxen? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're kind of no ducking this way and that. Right. Yes, absolutely. I'm They're not in cover them. anymore. <laughs> no, they 100% are in cover. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're not okay. drawn out of cover. Oh, I thought you said they had to dodge out of the way. They are, but they're still in cover. Right. Okay. Take game load and fire. Now keep in mind your actions are persistent until your next turn. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, I see. So your test uh, to fire is going to be challenging. Okay. So... Take cover is what kept them from getting killed. <laughs> A 33 is a crit success. Yeah, it is. Funk! You strike one who's kind of dis... He's clearly not paying attention as you roll roll uh, one roll, this, roll damage, add additional d6 fury die. He's clearly paying attention to the oxen stamping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's five damage? Five well, damage. And then the next one for crit, right? Uh, what's with the extra? I rolled a two and a three. Oh, sorry. Plus oh, your no, uh, plus combat bonus. No. Sorry. Agility. Five. Agility. Uh, eight. Eight damage. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that is not enough. As the uh, the flurry of the oxen, the tree that he's nearby, kind of rolling behind and trying to get out of the way, unfortunately, is not enough to to hurt him. The dog soldiers uh, begin to emerge uh, between the oxen. One of them yells something out loud and. He screams, and suddenly there is this kind of howling, starting first from the four that are the three that are betwixt the stones, and not the one who's blinded. And then there is a howling coming from near the house where you're at, and they kind of all kind of in this tribal scream together. They join in use and chanting, and it sends shivers down your spine as you all must attempt to resist with a. Resist stress with a routine resolve test. All of you must try this. Resolve. Four. 56 meets it. 56. 56. 76. 66 crit success. Nice! Regular success. Reward yourself with a fortune point. Who failed? You are beginning to be stressed out. As you suffer three corruption, or you gain three corruption, and you suffer uh, 17 mental peril. Or a 10 out of 5. Sorry, my apologies. It's only 1 v 10. My apologies. Hold on. Uh, it's uh, 4 mental peril. Okay. I'm... But you are stressed. Okay. You don't have any disorders, do you? Nope. No. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's good. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they begin howling in unison. Besides they emerge. The, besides the ones through the heat. Right. We'll howl no more. That's right. They, the ones by the rocks, the one who's holding his eye, assume that he is probably just, he's out of it. He's blinded. He's in incredible pain. The three that remain will uh, charge down. They charge down the hill in unison. They charge down toward... Well, they charge down toward Warren. Yeah. Uh, and Warren's kind of caught, he's kind of caught flat-footed with nothing. He directed the stampede their way, and they're kind of moving, ducking, and getting out of the way as they, they charge forward for uh, 2 AP and will attempt to strike uh, using, I believe, their, uh, if mistaken, they have... Uh, what do they call that? Yep, okay, cool. So... Alright, they storm forward. Uh, the first one attempts to strike with a 75% chance. 0 8 hits. The second one attempts to strike you with a spear. 17 also hits. And the third attempts to strike you. And 89 will not do it. But as he lunges forward with his spear, he grabs his friend Siskin, makes an opportunity attack. I have axe for you. <laughs> Throwing it toward you. Which is a 65% chance. Sorry, yeah, 65. A 77 will not do it. So when he throws the axe, you thunk, you grab it in hand. Like, kind of like you're like, what the? You may throw it back toward him with an opportunity attack of your own. Alright, let's do this. 
Is that a range? <laughs> yeah, it's a simple melee, yeah. A simple range, rather. Oh, you kept instinctively like, what? No, get out of my way! <laughs> What's my difficulty? Uh, it is going to be routine. Okay, so 56 and 0. Uh, a 77 won't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Whack! He grabs the axe and looks toward you and goes, Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, you were struck twice. Okay. We played uh, You don't use the fortune points to use. Uh, I don't want this. Yeah. I'll dodge. Let me see. What's Green, my dodge fortune here? parry one? I don't have anything. I don't hunt hunting bow. <laughs> <laughs> you can't parry with that. You absolutely can try. You can. It'll break your bow, but that's fine. You gonna try? Uh, no. Okay. So a charge. I'll dodge though. You can't dodge. You can't dodge. You have to parry. Okay. You can't dodge melee. But both is. Yeah. Ten plus six. Sixteen damage from the Calm first down. spear. Calm down. Okay. I am. Water leaving. Oh no! Roll uh one d six. See if you suffer an injury. Uh, I say that. Yeah, I'll take care. of it. No, could you hand me a paper towel, please? Yeah. Oh no, you suffer an injury? No, I do not. Oh, okay, that's good. Rule of one. Okay. And then the second one strikes you, attempts to, is going to do damage to you, unless you wish to. I will parry this one. Oh, so you use a misfortune point? Yep. So, sorry, you get a use a fortune point, I'll use a misfortune. Okay, so your chances are challenging because they. they uh, they had a uh, charge you. Simple melee, right? It sure is. That's thirty-eight percent chance of speed. If you fail, you definitely fail. Your weapon's destroyed. And I succeeded. Wow! I rolled a thirty-eight. You gra- You take the bow. <laughs> oh! Somehow, whack! You swing it toward the spear. So that's wow. good. That's good on your part. <laughs> wow! You <laughs> take it. Take it while you can. All right. So we resolve that uh, over here. Meanwhile, the howl kind of dies down and ah! taking advantage of their unbridled rage. Yeah, they're not riding horses. <laughs> it is. That's right. Uh, none of them are actually in the, this Western farmhouse. Are actually, I mean, what? Yeah. You know, so they are going to use, I suppose, their. Battle frenzy. Uh, roll a d6 chaos die, if you would. Me? For me, tear one. Yes, yeah, let's see if they're under the effects of red cap mushrooms. Four. Okay, they are not. If it was a one, two, or a three, they were. Yeah, that's right. So, <clears throat> they're going to strike. Uh, they're clearly not uh, taking aim or taking their time, but uh, the first one lunges out with their spear on higher ground toward you. 75%. So 42, that's a hit. Yay! The second one, it's an 88, a critical failure, which will resolve in a second. Right, Third one forget. is a 0 3, a second strike. And an 18, a third strike. So here's what I'll let you do. One of them critically failed, so you can either opt to get an opportunity attack or be able to negate. One of the attacks from the other foes. Uh, negate one of the other. Foes. Okay. As they're as they're <laughs> kind of as they're stabbing forward with their spears, it was like, yeah. You kind of duck, you duck out of the way, and you whack one aside with your sword, and you avoid one of them. So you're only struck twice. Right. So I would like to use my lightning reaction in order to uh, parry one of them. Okay. Or uh, attempt to parry. Okay. Them. It's a challenging test. Challenging test means it will be a forty. Wait, no, that's a, uh, sorry, it'll be a 50. You got a shield? I do have a shield. What kind? A wooden one, and so my simple is higher than my martial weapon. Yeah, so, oh, and it's defensive. So yep. challenging will make so it So whatever you parry with the shield, mm -hmm. uh, it always takes into account the weapon in your primary hand. A shield oh. is not a weapon, remember. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I'd have spent my points different, but oh well. It is what it is. So um, uh, it is actually a... 50% chance if it's challenging. And a 68 won't do. Okay. So oh. I, I hit twice. Okay. Alrighty. You will suffer an explosion! 
Oh. An explosion! Oh dear. Okay, 12, 16. Oof. Uh, 22 damage for the first spear. Okay, I am seriously uh, wounded. Oh. Uh, go ahead and roll to see if I'm injured. Yep, roll 2d6. Okay, I'm immune to them. That's right. Because You're a cell sword. Uh, hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to use uh, uh, two fortune points to go up the uh, damage condition track. You can use one to go up the damage condition track one step after being struck. Okay. I would. Yeah. So now you're lightly wounded. Yeah, I don't need that. I'm moderately yeah. wounded. So you're yeah, so you're moderately wounded. So the next one attacks you. Remember, when you use one fortune point, you go up the damage condition track one step. Mm -hmm. You can't use multiple ones at once. You can only use one. Yeah, yeah. I, I was editing an old episode. So. Yeah. yeah, my bad. Uh, four plus six, ten damage. Okay, uh, ten damage. I am still moderately wounded. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! You grit your teeth. The dogs will. I think the plates there attack because you you need murder the ones at the uh, eastern farmhouse. They will howl no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Harper. Uh, all right, so Harper will uh, hustle forward for fourteen, okay. get him two yards away mm -hmm. at this point. Uh, still with triple barrel gun in hand, he yeah. will take aim. At uh, the one he shot before. Okay, so the ones near the farmhouse. Right. Okay. So moving up, so now a couple yards behind him as well. Uh, Clack. Yep. Pull the second hammer. Pow! Okay. Firing it. So you are Move firing into fire. so firing into melee, huh? and you are facing the sunlight. Mm -hmm. So your chances are arduous. Okay. Fifty-three. Sixty-five. Oh no. So, um, yeah, I will go ahead and just uh, miss. Okay. Blam! You fire. And then I will end my turn. Okay. So that brings us to Banneker. You're just boom and cinders and splinters of wood and body parts and grass and dirt and flames and. Cinder, the whole farmhouse just explodes into a, uh, a concussive blast that sets that part of the field on fire. But rain, so not, that's not right. too bad, right? Uh, we're, oh, so we're at your turn, Banneker. Banneker. So at Banneker. this point, on Banneker's turn, the sun has set completely beyond the horizon. Okay. So now, those who are facing the west will not suffer that penalty. Okay. So Banneker, what do you want to do? You going to wheel it around toward the east? Or the west? No! My people are there. That's... What about back toward the people in the field? Um, he's there. Oh, that's right. They're yeah, down. The oxen. Sorry, my They're apologies. Right. right. You can't aim anyway. They're too close to the the ship. I'm yeah. not gonna. Uh, you see, gonna... oxen just spread everywhere. They direct up the hill, storming through the grasses near Hastings. <clears throat> this is it the first time in Hastings that something really bad has happened? Hastings is a, a magnet to this. It's a fucking battleground in previous campaigns. <laughs> Actually, more than one, right? Yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, a... A dilapidated clock tower is falling in the middle of the street when Cedric Waters is pursuing the Genevieve. Uh, that was a different place. That's what that was Hastings. That was Hastings. But Hastings had walls, and we <clears throat> burned underneath them. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Yeah, so you're up top here. They've scattered. They're, you know they're down below the ship. And you know they must be swarming Elisa and Warren at this point. Uh, sorry, that. my apologies. Be swarming Warren uh, and uh, and the uh, Vanders down below. Warren is hollering. <laughs> uh, so it would take me more time to get down there than just lean over and fire at them. I think, right? Edge. It's a hustle to get over there. The hustle to get over there. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hustle to get over there. I'm gonna get towards where the lat uh, close close enough to the ladder that I can get okay. down there to help him next round. Okay, it's really hard to see anything down there because there's no light. Well, you lean over the edge and you th get the thank thank God I still have that torch in my hand. Toss it down. Just gonna cost no AP to do that. So just drop it. Yep. 
Plunk. Drop stinger. Roll d6 fury die. Sorry, roll 2d6 fury die. If you get two phase sixes, it extinguishes. You need two phase sixes to extinguish. Fours. So, you perfect. Got, okay. you got a fire you fire. Fours, fives. <laughs> Have you seen these things? They yeah. roll the same know, every it's time. Crazy. It's amazing! Um, <laughs> roll the so, same. the torch doesn't extinguish. If you would have dropped a candle, I would have had you roll 1d6. On a phase five or six, it would have done it. But <laughs> on a torch, it's two you, two phase sixes. Okay. So, 70% chance. They're pretty, stiff. They're pretty stout. Yeah. So, you drop it over there, so it's one AP so far to hustle over and drop the torch. Okay. What do you want to do now? Can I see? Yes, absolutely. Then the one, uh, I'm going to aim and shoot one. So you load. Oh, yeah, okay. you're right, load. So load, one, load for one AP and fire for one AP. There's no take aim. Unless you use a fortune point for an initial AP. Nah, I better save that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that to do something else right after this. Okay. So, <laughs> aim, uh, uh, aim and fire then. You lean out room fire, you're on higher ground, you're firing in melee, so it's a challenging test. And uh, I have saddle. So you said it's challenging? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have 55 standard, 45, higher ground, 65. Okay, 65% chance. Okay. And I rolled an 11 critical success. Flip! <laughs> Just tried somebody. Roll the extra d6 here and I. Son of a squirrel. Nine points. Nine. Fine. They rolled like well, shit now, though. Right? One is one is moderately wounded. Roll one d six fury die or cast out. See if he's injured. Nope. Yes. Okay. Now I am gonna use this. Here's a fortune point. Four. To slide down the rope. Okay. You throw the rope over and <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> I'm gonna yell that. I'm gonna yell to Elise to pull it back up. Okay, so you leap off the edge, um, Banneker, and grabbing the rope in a, let's say, in a heroic fashion. No need. We'll make a skill test. See if you burn your hands. Uh, I, I want gloves. you. I want you. I want you to make a uh, a an easy coordination test. Oh, no. Let's see if your gloves slip off. All right, easy coordination. So sixty-six. And that is a critical failure. Oh no! As he comes off the rope, oh, oh my hand! <coughs> you suffer one d10 plus one damage from flame. Uh, it's only three, uh, but you can't add your your armor bonus to that. So I'm sure your hand is fine. fine. It just oh, your hand is like. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> not only does Boy, that, I was trying to help. Not only does that hurt. Because it's a critical failure, but when you attempt to draw on fire or use your offhand uh, for, so we're gonna give you a, a small little tiny burn. injury here. So let's say rope burn. Rope, rope burn. Yeah. So any two-handed action, you must flip the results to fail. Well, I'm not going to fail anymore. Anyway. You gotta save the. This is a 24 hour temporary ouchie. Me and, me and the. So, rope burn. Me and Anytime you use to use two, anything two handed, together. it's a flip, a flip result to fail. I think it's appropriate. <laughs> Alistair and you are my drinking buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you're down there, and now it is Warren's turn. Warren, right. you are absolutely surrounded, but Banneker leaps off the side with the rope in hand and is down there with you at least. At Shot one, too. That's right. Ha ha! Ah! It looked, it looked really good. It looked like really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like I'm gonna put my hand by my. Ah, Everything's good. Everything's good. I got this. It's fine. I'm a swashbuckler. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, so, dro I'm gonna drop the bow and uh, draw my bull whip. Your bull whip. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Snap the whip. It's one AP. Okay. I will try to hit one someone with it. You to uh, entangle them. <laughs> So just a regular melee attack. You don't want to take aim. No. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, your test is going to be um, standard. Okay. Simple melee. Well, that's a forty-eight percent chance to succeed. And that's a success with a forty-one. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's have. They will attempt to resist. Do you want a chokehold or a takedown? Uh, let's take down. Coordination test. That coordination test for him. 
is going to be 40% to resist. And that's a failure, but I think we'll use a misfortune point to reroll once. Definitely, definitely need to do that. Definitely, definitely need to reroll. Yeah. So he'll use a misfortune point to reroll. Uh, 89, he failed. Okay. So irresistible. That you see the whip go to go his legs and <laughs> pulls him right off his feet. So Whoop! <laughs> the woman falls to the ground. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna kick him while he's down. Kick her? Yeah, kick her while he's okay. down. So, can I do with that? the stunning blow? Uh, with the stunning blow? Stunning blow, yes. Yeah. Yeah! One solid kick to the side. She's on the ground. It's going to be a standard, or sorry, routine test. Uh, so athletics. Yeah, athletics. Athletics. We're good. It's going to be sixty-one percent chance to succeed, and that misses. I may as well just. Oh, yeah. Are you using this fortune point or yes. fortune point? Okay. Yep. Always let me know when you use fortune points, please. Yes. Just not going to use a tool anymore. That's still a miss. Okay. Oh. Uh, 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 you stomp down and she withstands the blow. She screams something uh, in in her marble mouth, as if someone ought to say. <coughs> that, uh, They're speaking marble mouth! We're, te we're tearing there would simply say, you fucking bastard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear your balls off and feed them to your goat. Um, <laughs> uh, that goat. Okay, so, so now, now it's Ter <laughs> now it's Terwin's turn. You fucking bastard! I'm gonna tear your balls off the feet of your dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that Dragon Ball Z got really, uh, really rated R. No, I was just kidding. Um, so uh, it's new Toei. Totally it's new Toei totally translation. Um, yeah. it's for Netflix. Uh, go ahead. So Terwin, uh, surrounded as you are. <laughs> He's going to uh, keep the, the person in be I mean, if I'm surrounded, I've got one person in between me and the fire, right? Yeah. I'm going to uh, focus on that one. Sure. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, oh, that's lightly wounded. I'm going to take aim at him. Yeah. And then uh, I will bring my sword in a side-like fashion okay. in order to see if I can... It is a challenging test because you're still at disadvantage due to height. You're still at the you're still at the crust of the hill. You're still at the bottom of the hill. Okay. All right. So that will so be you maneuver your way around. A fifty percent chance. And a fifty-three won't do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll spend a uh, fortune point to do it. All right, I'll take that misfortune point. Lots of coins. Oh, yeah. Magic study coins. And an 81 won't do it. Just yeah. can't, can't yeah. succeed. Uh, unfortunately, there is no there is no winning. Elisa, you return the axe and her. He catches it, and he looks toward you, and you look toward him. I made my last action point. Okay. And you can see Warren take one of the women off, the, off her feet onto the ground. Okay, uh, I'm gonna aim at her with my bow. Okay, so load, load first. Okay. Yeah, load. Aim, uh, no, I'm not gonna aim. I'm gonna load, shoot, and then pull the rope up. Gonna pull what? The rope. Yeah. Okay. All right. Smart. Yeah. So it's gonna be a routine test. Sorry, standard test. Cause you're firing in melee. Okay. Uh, a twenty-nine will do it. Nice. Nice. Uh, 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 Discover rank of warfare. I don't. Roll d6, chaos die. Three. You strike her. Roll damage and add additional d6. Yeah. Okay, that's a three. Nine. Uh, so six is load. So 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. Uh, uh, she is slain. Oh, no! <laughs> she is pinned to the ground with an arrow, and then you... After you do that, you grab the, the rope ladder and start uh, 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 pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up, until it's up there. Now it's the dog soldier's turn! All right, there are two Fish that are still below on the ground near them, and they immediately scatter, giving you an opportunity attack if you wish to take it. You want to strike one in the back? Yeah, I'll try to attack. Yeah, it's one corruption. Okay. Yeah, I would take that Is one of them blinded? <laughs> uh, that guy's dead. Yeah, they're so out, of, out of commission. Yeah, is right. it, is There's it only a, two remaining. Is it routine uh, difficulty? It's easy. Easy? It's okay. easy to have people are running away. Alright, 68. 
Do I have nope. that button? Nope. Actually, that's a critical failure. Oh, no. Oh. Well, as you are oh, about to snap failure. them with the whip, it catches along the the framework of the ship, and you... And the bullwhip comes unraveled. Oh. This is ruined. Ruined. Has the ruined quality now. Useless. Freak. Um. Two of them flee into the night. The four that are on top of the hill near the burning farmhouse. You can see there's slings lying on the ground where they were slinging toward the park. Down below, that you hear this roo, 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 howling sound coming from the ones that were near the bottom of the ship. And then they will maneuver away for all you use four fortune points. <laughs> for um, them to evade and then they will beat feet as fast as they can running for their lives out into the fields and you can see them disappearing as you're kind of in front of the fire the lights in your eyes and they are in the field out in the darkness in the night it's very 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 difficult to spot where they went and we will stop here for the evening so, we'll be continue next week mm -hmm. for episodes 39 and 40 of Queen of Embers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone gets 100 reward points. Yay! Yeah. Huzzah! Huzzah! For now, the dog warriors have escaped. What will happen next? We shall find out next time on Queen of Embers. Corruption, corruption, corruption. Corruption! Who suffered corruption? I did! I did, and Warren did. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Nick doesn't go at night with The that. corruption roll for tonight is... You know, like a big spinning wheel. That'd be fun. Wild you know, card. They, they have them at Ikea right now for 15 bucks. Big spinning wheels? Can I, I mean, it? it's like this big. Can I put it right here? Oh, that would be so awesome if we had a spinning wheel right here with yeah, the numbers you get, you get that whole cycle. Like I said, yeah, it's, it's about this big. Oh, that'd be awesome. Put it right here. Brrr, that'd be the corruption roll. The corruption. The wheel of corruption. Oh, that'd be so awesome. The nerd of it. I know. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. I need to find out. I need to find out more about those. Uh, the corruption roll for tonight is nine. Nice. Oh, I think everybody's okay. So, um, are you guys up to... You can't, didn't do any raises this time around, I don't think, right? No. I uh, think... I didn't think so. Oh, I did. Because remember, I missed one. That's, that's right. So I'm one behind them in mm -hmm. uh, abilities, but I did raise one. Nice. What'd you get? I went with a little, um, a little, little, little more of that uh, agility since uh, my noise. My uh, my damage my damage needs to go up with that bow. That's right. Same. That's right, get it. Same, dude. Same. <laughs> same. Same. Cool. So, uh, with that, we'll wrap for the evening. Thank you all so much for tuning in once again. Thank you for your patronage. Thanks, $204. It's incredible. You're paying for all of our awesome food and pop and rations yeah. while we plan Wednesday nights. We, we couldn't be more appreciative. This is super cool. Uh, so yeah, if, thanks, guys. If you, if you really like what you're seeing, um, be sure to also leave some comments, leave some likes, share with some people. Yep. Get the word out there. We do, uh, we love what we're doing, and we appreciate you yeah. uh, supporting us. Yeah, share outside of uh, Discord. We would love to see more of it on social media. Really help kind of raise awareness. Yep. Um, and if we get to a certain goal soon, we'll be releasing something new. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first cool. first goal is uh, character sheets for you all, and then the uh, that's at two two fifty. So we're not too far away from that. And then three hundred is uh, the uh, radiator. Uh, uh, podcast yeah we're here to play test sessions yeah. some of you may have heard of it already in discord some of you who are already inquisitors have probably heard our um one of our our sessions our four-hour sessions yeah um 
but uh, Adam and team are thinking about releasing it, and we really want to hit that next that next yeah. big goal. So um, thank you all once again so much. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Call of Duty. Hey, that guys, that's our calling card.